Welcome back, we're here looking at the end of the season. This is gonna be my daily forecast for Thursday, July 28, 2022. If you like to support channel, will hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and all my trades and portfolio are available in the link down below. Also, our new technical analysis of the cryptocurrency market is available on my Patreon platform and also on my Ether profile. So let's start by looking at the NASDAQ. And as you can see, we did rally significantly today. We're up at 3.87% to the upside. And this basically came after Jerome Powell had a speech where he basically said we they will most likely be less aggressive going forward, even though interest rate increased by 75 basis points a day and will continue increasing into the future. But the market really liked that and we rallied roughly for four percent uh, we are still within this channel and we are kind of at the top of the range we tested a 15 when we averaged yesterday and bounced from there which is a usually a really good sign but as we are basically at the top of the channel we may see this market tumble back towards the bottom of the channel um in the next few trading days uh, we also are running into an area which we have the lows here and also the highs here we should offer massive resistance so uh, pull back um, uh, probably tomorrow also or on friday that could be um uh, could be the case if you look at macd it's still bullish stochastic is bullish and rsi is bullish as well so we still are in a bear market um we will occasionally see these rallies up towards uh, 10 15 percent and then massive falls but this is looking really good and probably why probably the reason for this is that we tested the 200 moving average a few weeks ago and going if we go back in time you can see the 200 moving average has been an area where the market has bottomed and then rallied uh, it can be the case that this was basically the bottom, so 11K, and that going forward, we will see uh, us going back to the all time highs. It can also be that we will go back towards the Fibonacci retracements or towards the 50 moving average, which is moving in this direction, and then get rejected there. That is also plausible. Uh, but this kind of looks like a bottom in this market, and historically, that would also uh, make sense. So let's look at the, the S&P 500. And as you can see, we're also in a fairly nice channel here where we rally up, down, and at the moment tested the 50 moving average yesterday, and then um, we have rallied to the top of the channel today. So we may see this market drop back towards the bottom and continue rallying. We also have an area here of, of roughly 4,070 up towards uh, 4,190. Uh, which should offer massive resistance. After that, we have the 200 moving average, which last time we tested was massive resistant, but still a fairly bullish channel and it is continuing rallying. Market really liked what they heard today from the Federal Reserve. So it may well be that we have also bottomed in this market, but that is to be seen. MACD is still bullish, Stochastic is bullish and RSI is bullish as well. So momentum is still to the upside. Let's look at the Dow Jones, very similar here, where we rallied all the way up towards the 32.3K and then gave some of those gains back. We are entering an area, the same as for the NASDAQ and the S&P 500, where we will most likely run into major problems at 32.6 all the way up to 32.2. After that, the 200 moving average comes into play, but that is far away at this current stage. We're still in a fairly nice upward channel, even though we're in a bear market. And at, as you can see, we are basically at the top of the channel. So it may well be that we'll test the 50 moving average going forward or the bottom of the channel and then continuing and continue higher. Um, probably the big, biggest obstacle, obstacle here will be the 200 moving average. But as you can see, 50 moving average is also turning around. So. Going forward, we may see the 50 moving average cross the 200 yet again, and that'll kind of be the end of this bear market. 
if you look at the MACD, it's still bullish. Stochastic is bullish and RSI is bullish as well. So German DAX, we are, well, technically nothing is happening here. Um, we are struggling at the 50 moving average, have not managed to um, technically test that at, uh, whatsoever. Did rally up towards the 13.2K and then gave most of those gains back, but still a market that looks really weak. And uncertainty for European market is massive as um, energy shortage is something that is plaguing that market constantly. So getting rejected here basically means that we could go and retest this area yet again. And bringing below that, then this market really tumbles to the downside. To the upside, breaking above the 50 moving average opens the door to the 200 moving average and also this double top here. So we have a double top and the 200 moving average that's moving in this direction, but we are really far away from that. MACD is still bullish, stochastic is bullish, and RSI is bullish as well. So momentum is kind of considering the technical indicators still to the upside. So Japanese Nikkei really rallied um, today, but we are still in an area where we have found problems in the past. 200 moving average, we have rallied above here twice in the last few months, uh, but the day was really good for the Nikkei, which rallied, which at this current stage is trading at 27.9K. So up nearly 2%. 200 moving average is offering, um, offering support at this point, and the 50 moving average is starting to rally. And at some point, if this continues, we'll have a crossing here or a double golden crossing of the 50 and the 200 moving average, which should be really bullish for this market or any market whatsoever. If you look at the MACD, it's still bullish. Stochastic is bullish and the RSI is also bullish there, but there's still not a lot of room to the upside. VIX did fall way below the 200 moving average today and then gave most uh, basic gain um, a rally to the end of the session, I was supposed to say, uh, which is at 25.13 at this current stage. MACD is bearish, Stochastic is bearish, and RSI is bearish as well. And considering how this has behaved in the past, the 200 moving average has kind of been the bottom of this market. So after every 200 moving average tested, we have basically rallied, rallied, and we may see this market rally also here breaking below then we will most likely tumble towards 20. technical indicators are uh, all bearish at this point and that is of course really bullish for stocks and indices if you look at the 10 year nothing really happened here we pull back to the board to 20.7 and then rallied we are ending at the 2785 uh, and yes, kind of where we started. This is kind of looking like the bottom, 2.7. And the highest, of course, is all the way up here. But we have another area in this place where uh, we are, have tested several times, roughly at 2.3.1, so you can see. So we are kind of there at the lower range and we may rally up towards this range here. Breaking below here, then the 200 moving average will most likely come into play. MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and RSI is bearish as well, so momentum is still to the downside. So, hope you find it helpful. If you want to support the channel, subscribe and hit the like button and the bell button to see how new it is. Good luck. Thank you very much.